Today's food for thought comes from the 33rd chapter of Ezekiel, verses 10 and 11, which reads, Therefore you, O son of man, say to the house of Israel, Thus you say, If our transgressions, our sins lie upon us, and we pine away in them, how can we then live? Say to them, As I live, says the Lord God, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked turn from his way and live. Turn, turn from your evil ways, for why should you die, O house of Israel? I want you to understand today that all that God desires from us, mankind, is for us to love him and to be in fellowship with him and he with us. Now, what keeps this from happening? What keeps this from happening is mankind choosing to continue to indulge in sin rather than live in repentance. Do you understand that the Lord loves you? Do you understand that God has no desire to cast anyone away from his presence for eternity? The Lord, he says it here. I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked turn from his way and live. I want you to understand today that God, he loves the sinner that knows that they are a sinner and will acknowledge that they are a sinner and will confess their sins to him. God loves the sinner that chooses to heed his rebuke. God, I want you to understand he loves the sinner that in heeding his rebuke would choose to correct their way by abiding by his word. To be clear, the Lord, he takes pleasure in justifying those that turn to him. The Lord, he only despises those that choose to keep indulging in sin because the Lord, he doesn't indulge in sin himself. He doesn't love sin. God, he will take no pleasure in casting the sinner away from him. But in the day of the Lord, he will cast the sinner away from him and continue to be in fellowship eternally with all of those who he has justified. So I encourage you today to simply come clean to God. Don't try to hide. Don't try to cover up your sins from the Lord. Don't continue in sin. Live in repentance today and be rewarded. I hope my thought for today has given you something to think about, and I hope that it will encourage you, that it will uplift you, and that it will motivate you as well. Be sure that you share this thought with someone somewhere, and if you haven't already done so, make sure that you're following this channel so that you can always receive my next Food for Thought.